Hello, I'm Yu Mo Kyung, who presents the measurement of biosignals on clothes. The table of contents divides into five categories as follows Introduction, Principles, Experimental Design, Result, and Discussion. Existing dry metal electrodes have motion artifacts and difficulty in flexible optimization on the human body surface. We are trying to solve the existing problems through PDMS and ultrafine metal mixture. The main advantage of this study is that it has constructed an environment that can measure biopotential signal on clothes by optimizing the surface area of the human body and sensors with micropattern. The micropattern can maximize the contact surface with the human body as an electrical and mechanical element. In acquiring a biosignal, the impedance from the source node must be small. In general, the impedance of the source can be expressed in parallel with resistance and capacitance. By analyzing this circuitry, we found out how to optimize the pattern. Based on this, three element part of this work are analyzed. Number of, number of pattern, diameter of pattern, and pressure on electrode. There are reports of the conductivity of polyester which is widely used as industrial composite and fiber. It is also important to select a fiber with low impedance in order to optimize the measurement of the biopotential signal on the fiber. The experiment consists of two parts, fiber optimization and electrode optimization. An experiment with an impedance analyzer was planned to select the optimal fiber. In order to manufacture ciliated type electrode, it was necessary to design the environment to be fixed and the environment to be changed. The factor of change were the number and diameter of fine pattern and pressure. In order to evaluate the quality of the signal from the electrode, the numerical value was displayed by comparing the size of the electrocardiogram cross complex with the noise of commercial power. From the experiment, the higher the number of electrodes, the better the signal was obtained. The smaller the diameter, the better the signal was obtained. And the better the signal was obtained under strong pressure. After selecting several commercial clothes product and measuring their impedance, a frequency band analysis was performed using a SPICE program, and the optimal fiber was selected. When the same experiment is uh, repeated on a commercial fiber with low impedance, the number, diameter, and pressure tend to be similar, but there are some interesting differences. The attenuation of the signal quality due to the fiber lamination is increased, but the signal can be observed on more fibers. When measuring the ciliary type electrode and impedance targeting of flat metal surface, the previously derived trend is uh, repeated. The smaller the diameter and the larger the number of pattern, the smaller the impedance. In clothes such as stocking with good elasticity, slated electrode penetrate the fiber fabric to make a passage from the biopotential. In the case of fabric with relatively poor elasticity, a biopotential measurement interface is made by maximizing the surface area. Such an electrode can obtain a signal having a stronger and higher quality than that of a conventional flat metal electrode. The presentation is finished. Thank you.